Yeah. Yeah, he was like, open the door, yeah? So basically, <laughs> and then he opened the door and then he came in and then my mom, So my mom, means, means so for example, this yogurt that we have here, yeah? This, okay, sorry, sorry. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. So, as I promised you guys, inshallah, I'm going to have a little discussion with my mum. She's in the kitchen, she's made food, I'm hungry. Just got back from the park. Um, so I'm gonna eat, we're gonna eat inshallah. Um, this is the door my dad came in from, yeah, this is how he caught me, yeah. Um, I'm gonna talk a bit about it, I'm gonna, inshallah, it's gonna be a bit beneficial. I think, I think it'll be very beneficial. I think a lot of people will start praying salah inshallah after this. Our kitchen, you can say. So my mom's cooking food. I'm not gonna show you her. She's made, this is called sarma. So basically it's like uh, vine leaves. Um, and you can have like cabbage and you fill it with minced meat and some herbs and stuff like that So we're gonna be eating and talking. But yeah, so basically I've got another I've got my iPad recording as well So I will be changing camera angles Inshallah, so I'm just bring this a little bit closer So this is exactly what... <coughs> Yeah, so basically um, I was I was here. Yeah, so I was basically I was just standing right um, Right there. So when I heard the door because usually what it is is for the past five to six years, my dad, um, well, I would say the last <gasps> about two years, he kind of, people, he has some customers um, and they tell him, uh, they tell him about me. So it's kind of recently, about a year and a half, two years ago, they find out about my YouTube and stuff, uh, which they're not uh, really happy about. But praying was the first time ever, like I think he actually caught me praying because usually when I hear him, this was before, like time ago, it would be really like bad like i would have to stop praying because if he saw me it just would have been really bad not that he's a bad person it's just the things that he's been through a few extra a few other stuff as well so it's not that he's a bad person i don't want you guys to start thinking like my dad's bad he's not a bad person he's a really very really nice person uh but it's just you know he's just the stuff that he's gone through that's kind of made him a bit bitter and you know he just thinks you know i'm brainwashed etc it's a different story but i ask Allah to guide him inshallah and there's a lot of people out there with the same issues as well so yeah i was just i was standing there so when i heard the door i can see like from the corridor from here like for example let me show you guys so basically from there you can see that's the corridor yeah so i'm i'm praying here so imagine i'm praying here yeah? so i know from there he's going to see me yeah so what i do is i start I went a bit forward, yeah, so he wouldn't see me. I went really close, and my mom's standing. One second, <coughs> and my mom's my mom's standing basically here, yeah. My mom's standing right here, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, next thing I know, she starts panicking, yeah. Um, uh, no, this, uh, so, hey. so I'll introduce you to my mom. Yeah, salam, 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 alaikum, yeah. Yeah. So basically, uh, okay, she's going to say in Turkish. I can do translation like trans uh, on the screen. If that's too long, I'm just going to translate it for you. Yeah. yeah, so she's basically saying that for years I was uh, praying, she, she didn't tell my dad, yeah, she's hiding from me. Yeah, so she's basically saying that she used to be careful, she would look at the door. You know, see, you know, she'll cover for me basically, yeah? You know, uh, you know how mothers are, you know? Yeah. So basically, <coughs> uh, she's uh, saying that uh, when my dad came and caught me, because you see, there's two things happened, yeah? One month ago, I was upstairs, yeah? Uh, and that's when he, the first ever time he caught me praying, yeah? The second time is this instance that I'm telling you. That instance, when it first happened, that was, I can't explain to you, yeah? Um, I don't want to go into detail. There's some certain things that happened. And I was praying and he came. So I was upstairs, yeah? He came. I thought my mum came. So he's coming. He came into the room. I'm praying. And he's like, what are you doing? Yeah? And imagine I'm in prayer. Usually I break my salah, yeah? 
I was just, just some things that happened there I can't explain to you. But I just froze. Like I was like I cannot explain the feeling, the most awkward feeling ever. Like it's like do I stop? What do I do? And he's like, What are you like what are you doing? Yeah, like literally imagine you're not even looking at me. I can it was the most awkward thing ever. Obviously I I, I just carried on. I don't know why I just carried on, yeah. And then um afterwards I'm thinking in my head like this is the most awkward thing ever because I'm eventually gonna finish praying, and I can f I've, I heard that he just sat there watching me. So imagine how awkward it is. Yeah, so those who are reverts or those who are Muslim families who, um, <clears throat> uh, who are Muslim families, their families maybe don't like them praying, whatever. Yeah, but sometimes reverts. I think mainly main reverts go through this. They would know. So when you finish prayer, imagine you're giving you didn't sleep. Yeah, okay. And then you turn it, and you're gonna turn this side, yeah. And then and he's and he's there. As soon as I finished prayer, and it was the most awkward thing ever. What I did is I just I just wanted to walk out, yeah. Like I was just I just, I didn't want to look at him. I put my head down. I was just trying to go, yeah. And then um, obviously he was angry. He's like, "Don't ever pray um, here again," etc. etc. A few other things. But like I said to you before, yeah, he's coming from the angle where. You know, he just, he just, look, you need to understand things like this, yeah? Like, it's like, look at the companions. A lot of them, they accepted Islam later on in life, etc. At the beginning, they were hostile. Umar ibn Khattab, and, you know, he was, even though some say it's weak narration, that he was on the way to kill the Prophet, peace be upon him. So they were hostile. Why? Because they did not know better. So we should not look at these people as evil, you know, we should make pray for them, whoever, yeah? So, yeah, that was the first ever time, yeah? So the second time, my mom doesn't know. My mom doesn't know that first time he saw me. So obviously I'm a little bit more comf 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 uh, comfortable. So, she, so basically, <coughs> he's walking through that door. I go right where this, this is. Yeah, I come very close to it. Yeah, so he doesn't see me. So he's opened the door, and no, the kafir ash didn't. Didn't didn't. Kafir ash didn't open. Hadi da ashta dedi yeter. Yer yer öptüp kalktı. Yo yo, orta da görmeden önce çünkü önce kafir ash da gelmedi içeri. Gelmedi içeri. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, open the door, yeah? So basically, <laughs> and then, and then, and I was like, come on, like, you know, it's just like, come on. And then he opened the door, and then he came in, and then my mom, <laughs> so my mom, <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, yeah? So she seemed, she seemed to be, get up, get up, because I haven't told her, my mom, my dad, mom's, my dad uh, saw me praying once, yeah? So I'm a little bit more comfortable. It's still very awkward. Like, I try to avoid it, yeah? Because I don't want to rub it in his face, yeah? Um, so my mom's like, get up, get up. So I'm not, I'm, I'm just carrying on, because yeah? I'm just like, oh, man, not again. But I'm just carrying on. So my mom's thinking, it's the first time for her. And she's thinking, what the hell's going on? And why is he not getting up? Uh, what is it? She was saying something, I think. Yeah, she's like, she's like, she was thinking, what the hell are you, like, what are you doing? Like, usually you stop praying. Uh, I was on, when, uh, sen düşünmedin mi ben ne yapıyorum çünkü ben dedim el çabuk ha sen çoğul olma sen de hala ne yapıyorsun geldi gördü hemen ee, sen dedi ki yeter yere öptüm dedi sen, yeter. sen ne yaptın gördüğünde geldi mi ben inanamadım geldi gördü dedi yeter yeter şey yaptım yok yok ondan, ondan önce yani içeri ben böyle şok oldum yani çok kızmadı ya şaşırdım yani böyle ondan önce ama baktım ben durmuyorum o da içeri geliyor <gülüyor> ee, sen durmuyor sen ne yapıyorsun ben sen... demir derken sen ne yapıyorsun namaz kılıyorsun yeah, sen, sen hala ne yapıyorsun yeah, yani. ama, 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 ben sen... hayret dedim sen panik yapar mı nesin yeah. yeah. because my mom saying that usually you panic and then you get up but because this, like this time he goes um, you didn't so obviously my, my, dad, my dad comes in here um, and then he's like um, uh, <laughs> he was like what are you doing, you idiot? Yeah, and then he's like, he's like, oh. yeah, and then he go, he was like, oh, um, stop, stop kissing the floor, yeah, and I was laughing in my, in my head, I was praying, yeah, but he was, he was so casual, like he, my mom was even shocked, your yeah, mom was probably surprised. He just came, he just said that, and then he just, he just went upstairs. Um, so yeah, that, that's about it. That's that's what happened. Yeah, um, yeah. So basically, now the reason I told you this is obviously not, uh, not with the intentions of. Um, boasting about it, uh, not with the intentions of making it seem like I did something uh, extraordinary, something special. Um, but in a nutshell, the reason I'm doing this, um, brother and sister as well, actually I'm going to put the camera here, because I've got the iPad recording as well. I'll just put this here, that should be fine. Yeah, so basically, the reason why I was, I'm sharing this with you guys as well, yeah, and just giving, you know, the take from my mum as well. Um, is what I'm going to call it. Don't worry. 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 Don't wor
Okay, all right. So my mom's basically saying she's she's made the vine leaves and the dolma, but she's saying that uh, she wants to put um, some sauce on it because it tastes better with that. So when it comes to this, I'm I'm she always forces me. Even when I'm leaving, I can't leave the I can't leave the house without having breakfast. You know, she'll force me. Yeah, that's mothers for you. Uh, may Allah bless them. That's what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. You know, when they asked who has my more rights, he said your mother, then who your mother, then who your mother, then who your father. Obviously, we should be great. We're grateful and appreciative and respectful to our parents and they are your door to Jannah. You know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that after he orders us to worship him to obey the parents, be they Muslim or non-Muslim. So yeah, in a nutshell, the reason why I'm sharing this with you, brothers and sisters, is that it's it's I heard of I heard of a lot of stories. Mine mine is nothing. Yeah, I've heard of mad stories where the the court praying, the parent comes and spits in their face, physically attacked. Yeah, alhamdulillah, I haven't, I haven't gone through that madness, yeah. But I know a lot of people now. There is times, there is times, I'll even mention, yeah, for you guys, that there is times I can remember when I would have to do wudu. And I'm sure a lot of revert brothers or those who are struggling in certain families face that getting up for fajr is a struggle on its own, yeah? But for reverts, it's not the struggle of, okay, um, you know, some revert struggle as well. I'm not trying to make it seem like reverts do something special. But the struggle of waking up for fajr, that's another problem with itself. But another thing is... The fact that you have to get up knowing your parents, if your both your parents are not okay with it, your sister, blah, blah. With me, it was just my father, yeah? Me, Allah guide uh, I mean, so basically is that you have to get up in silence, yeah? So I'll just show you guys this. No evil eye, please. Say Allahumma barak. Okay. So I'm going to have that. So the issue is not just, oh, I'm going to wake up Fajr, I can't wake up in the morning. No. The issue is you have to get up in silence. So imagine you're getting up in silence, yeah? So you're walking down, you, you, you're tiptoeing, man. Like, wallahi, it's literally, I can remember times where you, I, I would have to tiptoe, yeah? And I know a lot of people go up through this as well. You're tiptoeing to pray. Then when you go and do wudu, you have to open the tap slowly. Yeah, you need to do wudu, what's the fard? The fard is you do it one time, yeah? The hands is sunnah, yeah? Okay. Then, you know, you have to do it once. Usually you have to do it three times, yeah? That's the sunnah. The fard is that you do it once, yeah? That you, you're going to have to um, do it once, inshallah, yeah? And then when you do wudu, you know, you have to do it slowly, so they don't hear it. When you're praying, when you're going to sajda, when you're reciting, you're doing it all slowly. All of it, yeah? Now, why am I mentioning this to you guys, brother and sister? The reason I'm mentioning this reason is because so you guys can understand, well, like, there's so many of you guys that your families are encouraging you to play, pray, yeah? They are encouraging you to pray and you're not. Well, like, that amazes me. Look at that. There's people who are struggling, yani, striving, blood, sweat and tears to pray. They're striving to pray. And, 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 and they are under like, you know, like CCTV surveillance cameras, everything kind of stuff, yeah? And they are still managing to pray. SubhanAllah, look at some of you guys who are in Muslim families, your mom and your dad. They want you to pray and you're not praying. Look at our situation. Look at what we have to go through. I'm not trying to be a victim here of like, people feel sorry for me. Well, I don't feel sorry for me. I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. What I'm saying is, think about it. Think about it. People are getting beaten up because they're praying by their family members. Getting kicked out of their house. Getting slapped in their face, spat in their face. Yeah? So... What I'm still trying to say to you guys is I want you guys to benefit from this. Your salah, yeah? Your salah, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people are dying. They're dying to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some people are dying not to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, just, inshallah, you guys benefit from this. Uh, that you learn, inshallah, and you take your religion seriously, inshallah, brothers and sisters. Wallah, there's people at the other side of the planet, around the world, even in London, you know, that are struggling um, to pray. They're looking for a way out to pray, inshallah. Um, so yeah, it was just a little reminder from me to you guys with my mom uh, of what happened. Uh, and inshallah you guys benefited. Uh, my mom is featured in my marriage documentary uh, where we have a discussion with her. Uh, uh, so basically we talk with my mom about uh, when my dad was obviously allowing me to get married to a practicing sister. Um, the struggles that I went through, you know, she shares, uh, you know, I, I have a, you know, heart to heart with my mum, uh, where she talks about, in general, um, what happened, the struggles I went through, um, the reasons why my dad was like that, 
etc. That's all in my marriage documentary, inshallah. Um, specifically, my, alhamdulillah, my mom likes all my friends, alhamdulillah. Um, but specifically, um, what was this reaction here? She had to go on there. Shaquille. Shaquille? Shaquille. Mr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, mom, my mom has like a special kind of love for Shaquille. Yeah. So Shaquille, if you're watching this, yeah, my mom always talks about you. May Allah bless you, inshallah. And, oh, you okay. should come, and you should come visit her. Look, she's even asking about it. She's like, where, where is he? You know, uh, brother Shaquille Romero, may Allah bless him, inshallah. You know, uh, his mom passed away. May Allah grant her the highest rank of Jannah. She accepted Islam. Um, and yeah, so make dua for his mom as well, inshallah. And doing these videos, well, it's, it's hard for me because the thing is, I'm, I'm, I try to be really conscious of, um, you, know, the, you know, there's a statement, I can't remember who said, they, they attribute to Ali Radiallahu that, you know, don't talk about your children next to people that don't have kids, don't talk about your wealth next to the poor. And, you know, obviously, I, I was thinking, should I do this video? Because obviously, I know Shaquille's going to watch it. And his mom's passed away. And there's a lot of people's parents have passed away as well. You know, it was a very hard decision for me, but I thought the benefit outweighs the good. Alhamdulillah. And Shaquille, Alhamdulillah, is a very strong person, a strong brother. Uh, may Allah bless him as well, inshallah. If he's watching this, I love him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, hope you guys have benefited, inshallah. Shaquille, my mom saying, you know, come visit, inshallah. Um, and the same goes with Musa and Dawood. And Dawood, mashallah. May Allah bless you guys. Yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you guys have benefited. I'm going to have my um, vine leaves. And uh, yeah, vine leaves now. Oh, lastly, soon I might be doing a little program with my mum. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing a little program with my mum. Of she's gonna tell us how to make Turkish dishes. So what I'm eating now, I'm gonna do a footage where sisters, your wives, your sisters, whoever, um, they can watch and learn how to make this kind of food. So for example, this yogurt that we have here, yeah. This, <gasps> Okay, sorry. sorry. Okay, so one second. One second. One second. Okay, so basically, this yogurt here, yeah? Yeah, my mum made this homemade yogurt. So I'm going to be doing a little show with her um, for the Salam Dining Show, showing you guys how to make this at home, these kind of things. That's why, Baba Sisters, may Allah bless you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you guys for supporting our works uh, and make dua for us. Make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides my uh, father to Islam. And the rest, till next time, from me and my mom, Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. See you at the marriage documentary.